Hello guys, what's up? This is Rahil from Cypheric.com and in this video we'll learn unit about unit testing in AngularJS. So we'll be using Karma and Jasmine to test our Angular application. I'll show you how to set it up in your machine and then we'll write a simple custom filter and then we'll write test for the same. So I'm basically, I've already done a blog on this. Uh, I'm also doing a video so that, uh, you know, there are no problems you can follow with me step by step. So let's start. Now first go into your um, working directory here and next uh, what you have to do is you have to install all your stuffs uh, you have to install AngularJS, Karma, Jasmine, AngularMox extra so let's start uh, let me just copy paste this command npm install angular so this will install This will install Angular into your working directory. This is done. Next will install Angular. Uh, sorry, next will install Karma. So you can choose to install it globally or locally. I have already installed it globally. You can run this command npm install hyphen g Karma to install it globally. So I'm skipping that step because I have already installed it on my machine. Next you do is install Jasmine. okay so jasmine is installed now next you install ngmock so ngmock is utility provided by angular team 2 which allows you to inject and mock services in your unit tests so this is really important to test your application this is done uh, you'll also need to install uh, at least one browser i'll install phantom.js because I actually uh, don't need Chrome and Firefox in this case, any like physical browser in this case. Okay, so now phantom.js is installed. Next, I create two folders uh, one to keep my Angular files and one for tests. You can, uh, this is just a, a demo directory structure and this is not preferred. I'm just uh, writing a simple structure for demo purposes. Uh, this will create a folder named app and a folder named test. Next, you uh, configure your karma.conf.js. This is a configuration file for karma. So, for that, you do run karma in it oops 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 karma in it okay now it will ask you a few uh, sets of question which you'll have to answer testing framework jasmine no here i need phantom .j, phantom js skip so here you'll add uh, the location for your angular files and test files so for me it's app slash star dot js test slash star dot js skip yes okay so this will create a comma configuration file in your location here you go let's open up the file we need to make some modifications over there uh, so if you see this files array it has a location over app files and test files you also need to add the location to angularjs and ngmock so let me just quickly copy paste the location is in node modules angular angularjs similarly for ngmock it is node modules ngmock angularmock.js okay so once this is done your uh, configuration is done this is basically the minimum configuration required to test an angular application 
so let's just close this file now let's create two files uh, one in app as app.js in app.js we'll write our custom filter and spec will write tests let's open them in our editor let's open the test file as well Where it is. by mistake i guess i created a folder named empty dir oh yeah <laughs> let me just delete it okay so we have our files so let me quickly copy paste the filter code which I have already written so uh, this filter basically um, reverses the uh, any uh, any string you provided so for example if you provide a jam it will change it to match MAJ now let's add some tests for that okay so testing patterns are basically how you write your test so for me i prefer to describe the object type first that that is filters if it would have been a controller i would have written it as controllers then you load your app next you describe your uh, object name then this here we are initializing a filter as reverse now what we do is we write tests here it should reverse a string so basically we are saying that this test should reverse a string now expect this syntax is provided by jasmine expect reverse this is the filter which which we have initialized over here the parameter rahel to be lihar so l i h a r so this should basically pass expect dawn to be not this should pass as well so let's open up our command from our terminal and then type uh, karma start this is a command to start karma so it says executed one of one success so a test has been successful so let's do one thing let's try a wrong test so now what we do is expect reverse jam to be oops so basically this test should fail also negative testing is important to see like if you're uh, application is working as desired so now it should fail yeah here you go it's automatically watching the file so as soon as I save it runs so it said expected match to be oops so the reverse of jam is match so it says expected match to be oops and this is not true so it has failed so our tests are working properly let me just comment this out and see Okay, so now the test should pass again here you go it says executed one of one success so let me add another expectation over here for demonstration expect reverse code to be edoc i don't know what that means <laughs> okay so it still says um, executed one of one so a test have passed so writing multiple expectations is important to ensure that your code is working properly unit testing is um, very important to ensure the quality of your code to make you feel confident about your code you have written at first when you start with unit testing you'll find it a bit difficult and hard to learn but as you see when we have written this simple test for this filter it's very easy once you learn it so this was about it for this tutorial i'm planning to do another tutorial on unit testing um, filter sorry filters we have done directives services and controllers in angular.js let me know about it in the comments below and if you like the video please subscribe and share thank you